so here is my solar water heater. It's actually just made out of timber. It's approximately 31 inches by 31 inches. Now, having looked online, I copied the idea from fellow YouTubers. Uh, but what I did find is some of the information wasn't there that I needed. Things like the initially I painted it in some oil based gloss, but only then to discover that it needs to be done in matte. Now the advantage being that the outside is done in gloss, which means it is waterproof, but by doing it in matte you gain approximately 7 degrees in temperature. So alas, I then painted all the inside in a matte. Also I added the centre piece of wood, which is really there just to stop the perspex from bowing potentially as the heat builds up. I have a little temperature gauge on the side which so far in this British weather I've had it up to about 120 degrees inside. Today is a bit overcast so it's not really very efficient today but it does actually get quite warm. Simple brackets on the side, nothing special just with a little clip to stop it going back any further. Some handles on the top just made it out of some webbing stuff I had. Here's a little dog, one of these the culprit of all the noise. The actual tubing itself is what they call PEX tubing. It was white in colour, so I had to paint that black. And I had about 26 metres actually in there. I bought it on a roll of 50, but um, obviously I was only able to use initially 28. But having tested it using my mains power, it tended to bulge the tubing inside with the pressure, which therefore meant I had to reduce it down by one la ring in order to get it to fit again. And it's about 26 metres in there now. On the side, some sort of fixings, which you can buy from any DIY store. One of them is a tap, which just allows me to regulate the flow, and the other one is able to flow straight in. Following the cable down, I have it set up in the hot tub itself. And there's a simple little, I think it's called a WOW water filter pump, which is just simply this version. Nice and straightforward, very cheap on eBay, works nicely. And obviously on the other side we had the flow coming from the water heater back into the pool itself. One thing I did find is the actual British weather. If you have the pump on continuously, you do find that it actually cools the system down, the box down. And you probably only get about four or five degrees increase in temperature. So for me it's been working better if I actually turn it off for approximately 10 minutes and then turn it back on again and by then the water goes up considerably. I had one stage where my hot tub was running at 25 degrees. I left the water in the box solar, solar heater for about 10 minutes and then tested the temperature and it had gone up to 56 degrees when it's pushing it back into the hot tub. So it's quite a substantial change and that was just with 10 minutes inside the box in temperatures of about 22 degrees over here. So subsequently as a result of doing it rather than having to keep getting up and down I actually wired in because mine's all running on a 12 volt system I wired mine in to the battery with a little timer which again you can buy very easily it's just a set timer and this gives me 20 programs so what I've now got it to do is it sets itself to turn on at 11 o'clock whilst it's been sitting in the sun turns on for a minute and then turns itself off for 15 minutes and that subsequently goes right through till four o'clock in the afternoon. Kept obviously in a watertight tub so that I can actually go out if need be and leave it all running. So there you go, as you can see, it's very simple to make. Perspex itself I've bought online, difficult to get locally at the moment because of the um, virus and the shops are shutting down. One of the things I did notice, a lot of people used mastic to seal their perspex sheeting down I thought that was all a great idea, but if you ever need to take the perspex sheet off for whatever reason, it's very difficult to get it off when it's been embedded down with perspex. So I used, as you can see just down the outside here, some draft, typical draft excluder, which I just laid down and then fixed over it. It seems to have made a really good seal. I still get condensation inside, obviously, as everybody does, so I'm obviously getting a good seal inside. But it all seems to be work very efficiently, very pleased with it. To the side here, you can see I've made a small one, and this is really this was actually made out of copper piping. 
because I thought I'd give that a try. Having researched, you can't use copper piping where you have chlorine in your pool tendency to turn your water green and also the um, chlorine erodes the copper piping. You'll end up with some holes. So a good idea just to use that for fresh water, which is all I'm using. And that is really just so I can rig it. I've got it rigged up to a 20 litre black tub, which during the course of the day that heats up, allows me to have a quick shower outside. I have a um, 12 volt shower, just drops a pump into the tub and you get a good shower. But that one's working really freshly. What I have found is the copper pipe does definitely get hotter than the apex pipe. And I've only actually got 10 meters in that little system there. But that over the course of an hour, you can go from tepid water, which from my household mains is around 16 degrees. In the space of an hour, that'll get up to around sort of 35 degrees. So that's really efficient, that one. And we use that for when we go camping. Just a great way of using hot water, using the sun. But again, there you go. So if there's anything else to which you want some more advice on, where I bought the parts from, what costs were, do drop me a message below. Thank you.